Daryl Issa announces retirement from Congress Daryl Issa is the latest Republican to announce he won't be returning to Washington next year. Rep. Daryl Issa of California announced he would not seek re-election this year, becoming the latest in a surge of Republicans heading for the exits. With the support of my family, I have decided that I will not seek re-election in California's 49th district, he said in a statement. While my service to California's 49th district will be coming to an end, I will continue advocating on behalf of the causes that are most important to me, advancing public policy where I believe I can make a true and lasting difference, and continuing the fight to make our incredible nation an even better place to call home, he said. Issa, one of the wealthiest members of Congress, has represented parts of Orange County since 2001. A former chairman of the House Oversight Committee, the 64-year-old Issa made his name with aggressive probes into the Obama administration and the investigation into former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's role in the 2012 attacks against a U.S. diplomatic compound in Benghazi, Libya. Issa narrowly avoided defeat in 2016, beating Democrat Douglas Applegate by less than a percentage point, as his district went for Clinton by 7.5 points. He was considered one of the most vulnerable Republicans heading into the midterm election cycle. Applegate is one of four Democrats who have already announced plans to run for the seat this fall. Issa's announcement comes just two days after his fellow Orange County Republican, House Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman Ed Royce, also said he would step down at the end of the term. Since the beginning of the current term a year ago, 33 House Republicans have announced they will not run for re-election. Of that number, five are seeking to stay in Washington with runs for Senate, and another seven have announced bids to run for governor of their states. The number of Republicans leaving Congress is the most in any midterm year since 1994, when 28 Democrats announced retirements. That year saw the so-called Republican Revolution carry in a crop of 54 new GOP lawmakers who helped their party win back control of the House. President Donald Trump's low approval rating and a substantial lead in generic ballot polling have Democrats hopeful they can flip at least 24 seats in the House to regain the majority.